Alcohol and drugs affect your ability to drive safely, but so do your emotions. Stress and fatigue are the two major contributors to driver mental well-being. Fatigue causes thousands of road collisions every year, with one in eight, that's 13% of UK drivers admitting to falling asleep at the wheel. Its effect on our ability to drive safely is similar to that of drink and drug driving. Stress and anxiety, on the other hand of course, can make you irritable, restless, and you may lack concentration. According to the Health and Safety Authority, drivers who suffer from work-related stress are more inclined to speed and drive more aggressively and be more likely to be involved in a serious collision. Stress can also lead to anger, which in extreme cases is often referred to as road rage. With this mindset, you're more likely to speed, rapidly switch lanes, tailgate and jump red lights. A negative change in your life can also affect your ability to drive. Sadness can induce an autopilot mindset that makes you pay less attention to where you're going and how you're getting there. Driving and reaction times become sluggish. You're more prone to errors such as drifting into another lane or a rear end collision with another vehicle. And you may overreact to minor incidents. Fear and worry, like sadness, can let your subconsciousness take care of the driving while your mind wanders. When you're feeling troubled, your driving performance is more likely to be erratic, inappropriate and unpredictable, and this puts you and other road users at risk. Conversely, good news or happy moods can also prove hazardous. Anticipation and excitement can make your mind wander and distract your attention away from the road. Good judgment and road awareness may suffer as a result, and with reduced focus, you're more likely to drive too fast or take unnecessary risks. Life is full of highs and lows. We all get them. Whether it is domestic issues, work stress or everyday life, the important thing is to recognise the mood you're in and how that affects your driving and decide whether you can give your full concentration to the driving task. When this happens, increase your safety margins a little more to compensate.